here. I want to talk about the proposed NFL rule changes that, am I crazy? I thought they were supposed to vote on this today. I have no idea what you're talking about, so. All right, so they they are proposing different rule changes, and it's not a ton of them. Um, but let me let me go on and bring up exactly what what these rule changes are. Um, club playing rules proposals. Philadelphia uh, wanted to make permanent the expansion of automatic replay reviews to include scoring plays and turnovers negated by a foul in any successful or unsuccessful try attempt. That's not a whole lot different from what it already was, but in the past, if there was a penalty, they wouldn't go back and review. Now they want to. So we'll see if that passes. The crazy one that I'm excited about an alternative to the onside kick rule. Uh, Michael jumps in. He said, what's up, fellas? McKenna jumped in. Happy Friday, gents. Happy Friday, everybody. We want to hear your thoughts on these. Obviously, the NFL proposed rule changes. Um, and it, it, it may be voted on later this afternoon. I'm not sure yet. But uh, Philadelphia, the, the biggest one that is gaining the most steam that looks like it's actually going to pass, rather than an onside kick, the... The team who is trailing in the game gets an opportunity to maintain possession of the ball after scoring um, by doing basically a one play 15 yards to go from their own 25-yard line. Now, I love this because onside kicks are just kind of crazy. There's no real way to... I mean, you can prepare all you want to, but it just depends on the bounce of the ball, right? Right? With this, if you're a team that is behind, that has momentum, and you got a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes or somebody along those lines that can really fling it, fourth and 15, like, you can make that. This is going to change a lot of outcomes, I think. Now, I'm sure that the percentage is probably about the same as an onside kick, just because it's the the luck of the draw, the luck of the bounce. What are your thoughts on this? I, I like it. My question is, is what, do they have to be trailing? When the Saint, the one of the most famous onside kicks we ever have was the Saints coming out of halftime in in the Super Bowl against the Colts. It true. They weren't, they true. weren't trailing. That's a that's a good question. It, Do what you it, have to be trailing? Can I can I just go for it? Here's what it says. It says uh, it was proposed by Philadelphia to amend Rule Six, Section One, Article One, to provide an alternative to the onside kick. So I guess you can still onside kick if you want to. Um, it says that would allow a team who is trailing in the game an opportunity to maintain possession of the ball after scoring fourth and fifteen from the kicking team's twenty-five yard line. I I would imagine. See, that is a little crazy. You know, if if you are, I mean, if you're up and you decide that you want to go for the onside kick slash right. the fourth and fifteen. If you're Kansas City and your defense isn't great and your offense is electric, do you just do this every time? I mean, I might, I might. Matt said, uh, so they get a hail mary or a ladder play. Like, I mean, no, it's 15 only fifteen yards, yards. You don't need a hail mary for fifteen no. yards. But if you're crazy? talking twenty five, thirty yards, may, but even then, twenty five yards, you can still run a route. Like, Golly, no, man. Plays over twenty, over fifteen yards are a, a dime a dozen, and and the success rate is going to be way higher than the onside kick rate. The onside yeah. kick rate success rate right now is nothing. It's nothing. We have 15-yard plays every day in the NFL. We'll we'll have 100 of them every Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Uh, We got a new person in. Bylute5667 jumps in, said hello. Uh, They are on Twitch. We appreciate you jumping in, of course. Oh, Matt said, oh, I was confused on where they played the ball. They're playing it on on their own 25-yard line, and they got to make 15 yards. And so that's that's it. Um, I kind of like it. I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's you know? it's fun. I'm I'm curious. Do you have to be trailing to do that? I mean, it, and then it is says there like a certain do. point in the game where you have to be trailing? So if you kick off, and you know, let's say the other team gets a touchdown, you get your drive. You kick a field goal. Can you do this now immediately because you're down by four? I mean, the game just started, but let's just go ahead and do it. I I think so. I think a lot of a lot of coaches would not just because. I mean, you got to do it from your own 25-yard line. That's right. You don't a get lot it. of coaches yeah. would not, but then a lot of coaches would. Yeah. I mean, back in the day when the Patriots were an unbelievable offense and a mediocre defense, Bill Belichick went for fourth down 
on his own like 20 something yard line because he knew if Peyton gets the ball back, it's over. But if I get this first down, we kneel it and we go home, we take a win. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I think more coaches will do it more than you think. Yeah. I, I, I just want to know, I, I are they with only allowed to do it? See, he wouldn't have been able to do something like that because they had the lead. Yeah. If he's got the lead, yeah. It, it says uh, a trailing team. So, I mean, we'll see. Obviously, they can they can change these things up if they need to, but... I, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what they're going to do or if they'll even pass it. But if they do pass it, uh, that would make things a lot more interesting. I'd, I'd love yeah. to see that as opposed to an onside kick. So uh, yeah. the other three were uh, one by Miami. It said to provide the option to the defense for the game clock to start on the referee's signal if the defense declines an offensive penalty that occurs late in either half. Uh, the second one, Baltimore and the Chargers both want to add a booth umpire as an eighth game official to the officiating crew. And Baltimore and the Chargers also want to add a senior technology advisor to the referee to assist the officiating crew. Uh, basically, we don't like the referees. We, we think we need some more. We need more eyes on the field. Yeah. So um, I'm okay with anything to help the referees be better at their job. And, and I like Miami's rule as well. If you're, a defensive, if you're on defense and you've got a lead, I don't like the idea that the offense can commit an offensive penalty and – the clock just to stop for them. Is it like is they'll it, give up yards, but they won't give up time. You don't have the 10 second runoff until you're under two minutes, but there's a plenty of times where before two minutes, the other team's trying to come back and those seconds are worth far more than the yards. I mean, offsides is five yards. They can get five yards back quick. They can't get three seconds back. I, I'm curious if like the, the big one that I'm, that I wonder about is, you know, in the, the Titans-Patriots playoff game. Yeah. Right? It, that wouldn't exactly be the same situation. Um, I don't know. Well, it, okay, it says it would provide the option to the defense for the game clock to start. So, the clock can either stop or start. No, th- th- what happened in the Patriots-Titans uh, game is completely different than this. That's a that's a totally different rule that has nothing to do with this. This is right now, if you jump off sides and it's four minutes left to go in the game, and the clock is running, and you jump off sides, then the clock stops. They reset the ball. They position the ball. They replay the ball. The other team can take their whatever time getting up to the line of scrimmage, re going to the huddle, all this other stuff, and the clock doesn't stop until you snap the ball. What he's saying is we would like the defense – the offense benefited from the false start or the hold or whatever it was. Right, right. They benefit it from the penalty. Right, and I, I, I do understand where you're coming from. They don't the want reason... the offense to be able to benefit from their penalty. They would like to be able to say, I want that clock running. Isn't that exactly what the Titans... No, the Titans and them, did. the clock was running. The clock yes, was that's, that's running. what I'm saying, but had, had the Patriots had the opportunity to stop the clock rather than waste a timeout, I think they probably would have taken that. So I think this would... Uh, help affect that. I don't know. That's what they were asking in the rule, though. I didn't well, think that's here. Let me let me reread it. Uh, it read says, the rule uh, by Miami um, to provide the option to the defense for the game clock to start on the referee signal if the defense declines an offensive penalty that occurs late in either half. So if they decline, but he's wanting the clock to start in the Patriots game. The well, clock no, no, no. was it's, started it, and was running. It, it's saying that the defense would have an option. So it <laughs> says that the option to the defense. So the yes, that's so the what I'm saying. He wants the, the option for it to start, not right. the option for it to stop. That's not what he said. I don't know. I don't know if those are the same thing. Well, no, because the what I'm saying is it already starts. Like uh, depending upon the penalty and when it is in the game, the it already starts. So like the Titans took three penalties on themselves. Now one of it is because the the Patriots jumped off sides, right? But they yes. ran off like two and a half minutes a clock. Yes. On the same play before a punt. Like, that's where, I, and, and it's funny that it was Miami that brought this up, but, yeah, it, I don't think well, this Well, the Patriots had, did it to somebody last year, which is what taught the Titans how to do this. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. So, yeah, the biggest one out of this is the onside kick play. Um, basically, 4th and 15 from your own 25. I'm curious to see if it will pass. Um I'm good with I mean, all of these rules, by the way. I don't yeah. think there's a single rule that's not realistic or not reasonable at all. Like, oh. I don't think the offense should be able to benefit from making a, a, a mistake on the offense. 
Yes, like I, I think the defense should have the right to say what they want to happen. You know, you can't you can't benefit that team for it. Um, you know, and and all the extra officials and stuff like that. I'm I'm 100 percent for all those. There's uh, anything there's, to get the the game better. There's two more that I didn't see the competition committee rules proposals. The other ones were from clubs, right? Philly, Miami, Baltimore, the Chargers, etc. cetera. Uh, the competition committee uh, stated these. One was to expand defenseless player protection to a kickoff or punt returner who is in possession of the ball, but who has not had time to avoid or ward off the impending contact of an opponent. So is this kind of the halo rule? Like that was, that was, no, put in they in already have college? that. They're talking about like if you don't call fair catch, I guess you can't you can't knock the guy out if he didn't call fair catch. Seems kind of kind of ridiculous. No, I don't know, I don't know about that one. I need I need to understand. I need to see a circumstance in which they're talking about to explain that one to me. Here is the one that we were just talking about: um, to prevent teams from manipulating the game clock by committing multiple dead ball fouls while the clock is running. Well, the no. the Miami one, if that's if they have the right to start it or stop it, the, the defense should just have the choice of saying, "We get to control the clock if they're the ones that made the mistake." Yes, and I like that idea. I think I like Miami's version as opposed to the other one. I mean, all this says is prevent teams from you know, like prevent them how, like it doesn't it doesn't say stop or start or anything like that. It just it just well, says this you way is it. a lot more clear because you can. This way just says what you say. The the Miami way, the way it is worded says nothing about stopping the clock. True. Nothing about it. So that's why I thought they were talking about times when you have a, a dead ball foul and it stops the clock. Because not all fouls stop the clock. And and Miami says, Hey, I want to be able to run. I want that clock to run. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. So, I'm with you. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. Either one of them are fine. I it, the offense shouldn't be able to benefit. You shouldn't be able to benefit from one of your penalties. I'm. Uh, it's supposed uh, to be a negative thing. This it makes sense to me. I, I'm understanding what you're saying now. I understand what you're saying. Uh, Lane Sap Gaming said, "What's going on?" He jumps in on YouTube. Uh, Michael said, "Only thing I'd like is if both teams have the option for fourth and fifteen. Maybe someone like Kansas City wants to put the dagger in on a team." Yeah, kind of like what you were saying. Like it, if you're ahead. Yeah. Do you want I don't. To... I don't think you should be penalized. I think it should be. If it's going to be a rule, you don't have to be behind. I think this is an alternative for onside kicks. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's jump into the next topic.